Praise the Lord. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, church. Good morning to some of you that are here in this building right now and for those that are behind the screen as we're streaming this live in our website, in our um, social media platforms, Facebook and YouTube. Thank you for joining us this morning. And we're so blessed to, to be here once again to glorify and magnify the name of the Lord. Um, if you could please open the Bible with me or I can, you can follow along as I read this. In Psalm 145, I'm going to start reading until one, verses 1 to 7. Psalm 145, verses 1 to 7. It says here, I will, I will exalt you, my God, the King. I will praise your name forever and ever. Every day I will praise you and extol your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. His greatness no one can fathom. One generation commands your works to another. They tell of your mighty acts. They speak of the glorious splendor of your majesty. And I will meditate on your wonderful works. In verse 6 it says, They tell the power of your awesome works. And I will proclaim your great deeds. Last verse, They celebrate your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your righteousness. May the Lord bless the reading of his holy word. Shall we pray before we start lifting his name up? Father God in heaven, we thank you so much once again for this beautiful day that you've given to each and every one of us. We all have our own struggles in our own walks of life, but Lord, you remain faithful. You remain great. You are the good, good Father. And we just not thank you enough for all the, the great things you have done. As the verse have said in Psalm 145, that you remain faithful. You have remained great. And your faithfulness will always be there, Father God, despite of our, our flaws and our shortcomings. You have never left us. You never will. Never will, Father God. And Lord, we ask that as you, as we sing these songs and worship you in spirit and truth, may you continue to be lifted up. May you continue to hide us at the back of your cross, Father God. And may you continue to use these songs to stir up your word once again and remind your children of how great you are. That we are not just here for another ordinary day. We are not just here to live our ordinary lives because we are the chosen people. We are the chosen generation, Father God. We thank you so much once again. And for those that are coming on their way to this church, to this building, Father, continue to keep them safe, that they will arrive safe and sound. And for those that are not able to come and join us this morning because of sickness, because of any illnesses, in the name of Jesus, we rebuke and cast out all the form of illnesses. Get out of everybody's body into Jesus' name. We thank you and we claim for the healing, Father God, because we know you are the great physician. Nothing can fathom the the deep of your work, the, the good deeds that you have done for each and every one of us. We thank you so much, Father God, and we give you back all the glory, highest adoration and thanksgiving, and all the children of God will say amen, amen. Wherever you are, I encourage you to stand up, clap your hands, dance, and sing for joy. We are not here to do any performance. We are here all together to worship the King of Kings. Amen? Hallelujah. Come join us this morning. We are here to celebrate the goodness of God in our lives. Yes, Jesus. Born in weary land where many a dream has died. Like a tree planted by the water, we never will run dry. So, living water, living through God, we thirst for more of you. Fill our hearts and flood our souls with one desire. Just to know you and to make you know We lift your name on high Shine like the sun, make darkness run and hide We know we were made for so much more Than ordinary lives It's time for us to more than just survive we were made to thrive into your 
your word. Into your word, we're digging deep to know our Father's heart. Yes. Into the world, we're reaching out to show them who you are. So living water flowing through. Darkness running high. We know we were made for so much more than ordinary lives. It's time for us to more than just survive. We were made to thrive. Come on, church, we're going to declare this right now in this very moment. Joy unspeakable, faith unsinkable, love unstoppable, anything is possible. Joy unspeakable, faith unsinkable, love unstoppable, anything is possible. Joy unspeakable, faith unsinkable, love unstoppable, anything is possible. Joy unspeakable, faith unsinkable, love unstoppable, anything is possible. Just to know you and to make you know, we lift your name on high. Shine like them to make darkness run and hide. Cause we know we were made for so much more than ordinary lives. It's time for us to more than just survive. We were made to thrive just to know Him and no more. Just to know you and to make you know We lift your name on high Shine like the sun, make darkness run and high We were made for so much more We know we were made for so much more than ordinary lives It's time for us to more than just survive Right. Hallelujah. Yes, so oh God. We are here to proclaim your goodness and your faithfulness, so oh God, to let the world know who you truly are. Hallelujah. Let's continue to lift our voices this morning. Dance for joy and sing out your hearts to God this morning. Your glory, every nation bow before you. Come on, church. All the trash you turn to ashes in the light of you. As we're singing, holy is the Lord Almighty. Worthy, worthy of it all. Every tribe will see your glory. Yes, they will. Yes, oh God. And every nation bow before you. And all our treasure turn to ashes. Of you, as we're singing, holy is the Lord Almighty. Only you are worthy. 
Glory, honor, and strength unto a God, unto a God, matchless, endless, love unrestrained. This is our God. Every tribe sing praise. Come on, church. Honor and strength unto a God, unto a God, your matchless, endless, love unrestrained. This is our God. Every tribe sing. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. Come on, church. Lift your voices. Yes, oh God. We sing. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. There is no one like a God. There is no one like a God. There isn't. There is no one like a God. There is no one like a God. Wala kang katulad, oh Dios, amen. Wala kang katulad, oh Dios. No hay nadie como nuestro Dios. No hay nadie como nuestro Dios. There is no one like a God. There is no one like a God. Do you believe in that? There is no one like a God. There is no one like a God. Praise and glory, honor and strength unto a God. Unto a God, your matchless, endless love and restraint. This is our God. Every tribe seek praise and glory, honor and strength unto a God. Unto our God, your matchless, endless love and restraint. This is our God. Every tribe sing, Hey, away, oh, away, hey, oh, you are. Hey, away, oh, away, oh, you are. Hey, away, oh, away, oh, you are. Hey, away, oh, away, oh, you are. Oh, we sing, There is no one. There is no one like a God. There is it. There is no one like a God. There is no one like a God. There is no one like a God. Hey, away, oh, hey, oh, away, hey, oh, Hey, away, oh, hey, oh, away, hey, oh, Sing it. Wala kang katulad. Wala kang katulad, oh Dios. Yes, oh God. Wala kang katulad, oh Dios. Wala kang katulad. Wala kang katulad, oh Dios. Wala kang katular, oh Diyos Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, ah 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 Hallelujah, yes, oh God There is none like you, Father God, there is none like you Hallelujah, yes, Jesus Let's continue to feel the spirit of the Lord this morning. Let's lift our heads, lift our hands to him, lift our voices. Don't mind who's, who's standing beside you right now. Wherever you are, you may be at home right now. You may be in pain. You may not be feeling 100% right now, but you are there worshiping God. You are here adoring and lifting up his name because he's the one who gives and take away. He's the faithful God. Over the walls, come over us. Come rest on us. Come rest on us. As the Spirit was moving over the waters.
storm we are facing no matter how how huge the mountain we are looking at right now let's continue to focus our eyes on God let's continue to remain still and align ourselves in his word because his promises is true their promises are true and he never failed and he will never fail us so God let's continue to lift our hands and voices as we sing this next song
Yes, I will be still. Know you are God. Amen. Find rest, my soul, in Christ alone. We want to know your power. No. When the oceans rise and thunders roar, yes, I will soar with you above the storm. And Father, you are king over the floods. Yes, I will be still, know you are God. Because when the oceans rise, God, yes, you are God, yes, oh God, my God, my God, I will remain still in your word, yes, oh God, yes, Jesus, yes, oh God, find rest, my soul, yes, Father. In Christ alone, yes, Jesus, know his power in quietness and trust. Because when the oceans rise and thunders roar, yes, I will so. And Father, you are King over the flood. Yes, I will be still. No, you are God. When the oceans rise, because when the oceans rise and thunders roar, yes, I will soar with you above the storm. Yes, Father God, Father, you are. I will be still, know you are God. Yes, I will be still, know you are God. Hallelujah, Lord. Let us help remain still in you. There is none like you, O oh God. Great is our faithfulness. Great is our faithfulness. There is power in your name. There is power. Yes, oh God. Yes, Jesus. Glory to your name. Yes, oh God. We believe that there is power in your name, Father God. Jesus, you can make everything tremble and crumble in front of us. We are so blessed to be called your children, Father God. Help us to remain focused on you only. Not in the storm that we're facing, not in the big of the, the, the height of the ocean and the mountains in front of us. Yes, so oh God. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. Jesus, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Let's sing it out loud once again. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the 
the name of Jesus. You believe in that? There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain that's binding you right now. Break every chain. Break every chain. Sing it again. There is power in his name. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. To break every chain. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Peace, bring it all to peace. The storm surrounding me, let it break. At your name, still call the sea to still, the rage in me to still. Every wave at your name, Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble, Jesus, Jesus, you silence fear, Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble, Jesus, Jesus, let's declare this again. Jesus, 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 you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus, yes, you do silence fear. Yes, oh God. Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus. Call these boats to live, call these lungs to sing once again. I will praise, let's breathe, breathe. Call these boats to live, call these lungs to sing once again. I will praise Jesus, Jesus. You silence fear, Jesus, Jesus. You make the darkness tremble, Jesus, Jesus. Let's sing it again, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You make the darkness tremble, Jesus, Jesus. You silence fear. Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus, your name is a light that the shadows can't deny. Your name cannot be overcome. Your name is a light. Your name cannot be overcome. It's your name, Jesus. Your name is a light that the shadows can't deny. Your name cannot be overcome. Your name is a light forever lifted high. Your name. Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus, you silence me. And Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus, let's sing it again. Jesus, Jesus, and Jesus, Jesus. Darkness tremble, Jesus, Jesus. Your silence fear, and 
Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus, there is power in the name of Jesus. Do you believe in that? Come on, let's declare this. It's power in the name of Jesus. Your name alone, there is power. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power in his name. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. Of Jesus to break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain. Hallelujah, yes, oh God. Your name is a light that the shadows can deny. Your name cannot be overcome. Come on, church, sing this out loud. Your name is a light forever lifted high. Your name cannot be overcome. Let's, let's sing this with all our declaration. Your name is a light that the shadows can't deny yes your name cannot be overcome it cannot be overcome it is alive your name is alive forever lifted high your name cannot be overcome yes oh god is your name jesus as powerful yes you are come on church let's lift our voices to him don't be shy don't be shy to lift your voices to the king of kings and the lord of lords there's none like you jesus there's none like you lord we glorify your name we magnify your name alone we lift you high higher hosanna hosanna to the king of kings Sad to the Lord of Lords, there is none like your greatest of faithfulness, greatest of faithfulness. Yes, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy to be praised. Great is our faithfulness, great is our faithfulness. Yes, you are, yes, you are, yes, you are. Yes, Jesus, we magnify you. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, O oh God. Hosanna to your name. Hosanna to your name. You alone, you alone, you alone. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, O oh God. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Father, we truly believe that there is power in your name. Your name can break every chain that's binding us, that's binding our family, that's binding whatever works of the enemy, oh God. You have the power. You have the power to break every chain that's holding us, Father God, that's holding us down. May it be in our, our relationships, our family, our financial, our health, Father God. Lord, we have our unspoken prayers. But you hear us. You see us. Every tears that we shed does not go in vain. Because in you alone, in you alone, Father, we know that we can run into. And we know that you will not fail us. The answer may not be visible right now, but you are the way maker that even if we don't see it, we know you're working things out for us. As it says in, your, in the word in Romans 8.28. 8, truly lord god there is so many things that we have we can be thankful for but lord there's just no words that can fathom the depth of your love for us 
the gratitude we have in our hearts for all the things you've done, for all that are yet to come, for the struggles and trials that we're facing right now. We still thank you, Father God. We still thank you because we know you have a purpose for all of these. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for filling us up once again. And Lord, as we go along the other parts of the service, may you be lifted up. May you be glorified and we pray that the double portion of the anointing of the Holy Spirit be upon your brother the June this morning as he shares the word of God. And Lord, help us to open our hearts, open our ears, our mind, so that we take these words and let this penetrate in our hearts and apply this in our daily lives, not just on Sundays. Because Lord, you see everything. You hear everything that we say. Everything that we do is not hidden in your eyes. It's not hidden in your sight, Father God. Help us, Father God. And Lord, we pray right now for all that are, are ill, are not feeling good, are not feeling well. In the name of Jesus, may may you continue to cover them with the most precious blood of Jesus from head to toe right now. Touch them, Father God. And we lift up in the name of Jesus, our pastor, Pastor Jim, that's continuously healing up and recovering. Lord, we thank you for the answered prayers. We thank you and we claim the victory because we are your children and we are more than the conqueror. We are the triumphant ones, Father God. We thank you so much, Father God. We cannot just thank you enough. There's just no words, Father. We give you back all the glory, praises, thanksgiving, and adoration. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, worship team. That was, that, was, um, that was really special to be in the presence of the Lord. Would you agree that it is really good to be in the presence of the Lord? Amen. Just to be soaking there. If we could do that all, all day on Sunday. But we're just here, it's, a, it's another special day because, as we all know, we have a lineup of speakers in the coming Sundays while our pastor, our beloved pastor, Jim, is recovering. And we thank you for, for the lives of everybody that are willing to step up and just be used mightily for the glory of God. Um, as I move on to the parts of this service, is there anybody who would like to testify the goodness and faithfulness of our God throughout the week? Anybody else? Oh. Oh, Colin, look at that. Clap your, give him, give, give God a big round of applause. Yeah, I just want to testify uh, how God covered my life literally this, this week. Because uh, on Monday, as some people know that I work with fire and propane, uh, I went there on Monday at work pre preparing my stuff getting ready and as soon as I walked out the burn pad literally one step away and the thing blew up <laughs> yeah there's a cabinet uh, a metal cabinet uh, with with the propane inside it and as soon as I walked in in where I work it exploded and make that made the door fly like 50 feet high and at a high speed too I was like two feet away from getting in front of that door, and I think God intervened in there with covering me, and I just want to testify how good he is and how his promises are fulfilled. Yeah. God is good. Truly, you are protected by the blood of Jesus. That is really scary if you think about it. And just when she, he was telling that story, I feel like I'm in that scene in that moment. To have that propane and all, it's not a good combo to have that, but God is there and his angels are surrounding um, Colin and in that very moment. Thank you for that, um, Colin. Anybody else would like to testify in any praise report, goodness of God? Okay, if there's, any, if there's no one, I would like to take this moment to thank um, everybody that's continuously praying for our dad, for our pastor. As you all know, he's still recovering. Um, I'm not sure if, if we have mentioned, I know my mom is not here, but we have mentioned that he was rushed back again to the hospital in VGH, actually here in ARH, and then we ended up coming back. My brother, my youngest brother, took him back to VGH again last Sunday. Um, 
and it's it's been crazy because he's in so much pain and they found a massive fluid in his abdominal area and that's what's causing the uncomfortness the him not be discomfort and not um not being able to 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 recover completely but god is good he turned things around and that that massive fluid has drained on its own without use of any procedure or anything because i think in the beginning they were thinking of opening him up again and trying to find where the bleeding is coming from because his hemoglobin is dropping and they had to give him another bag of of blood but god is good to cut the story story short um yesterday what last night our brother <coughs> our youngest brother jonathan celebrated his birthday 30 years, and um, trust me when I say that it has been a really roller coaster for our family and for this church too. It has been a roller coaster for us because, um, especially for my brother, he's the only one who doesn't have a uh, family of his own, but God is really faithful in his life, and we're so blessed that he celebrated the milestone of 30 years. I told him, welcome to the 30s club. Um, that's when you start feeling all the aches and the pains, but God is good, and um, our pastor's GFR, as of Thursday, when I saw the blood work, it has gone up to 33. So for some of you that doesn't know about all this stuff, um, the GFR is our kidney function. The new kidney that pastor has has been um, performing really well. It's liking its new home. And for patients that are on dialysis, the GFR would be 10 below. When pastor was a dialysis patient um, just months ago, his kidney um, function was six and seven, in between six and seven. So it has gone up after the transplant to 14. It's fluctuating. It's going to take some time, but as of Thursday, his kidney function has gone up to 33. And let's let's give big clap and, and, and glory to God. That That is just amazing because... We know that he's still got long ways to go, and as much as he would like to, to share, and even just by the phone, he's really in pain right now because he's going through um, some urinary tract infection that he had gotten, but he's got antibiotics that he's taking for that right now. But he just want to thank you guys. Our family would like to thank everybody that's praying with us. It is not, we cannot um, overcome this without the help of your prayers. The, the prayer support is continuous, and we I really appreciate each and every one of you for that. And we just want to thank you for, for that um, prayers. And um, yeah, to God be the glory for the life of our pastor. He still thinks about and talks to me about, about the church and the ministry. And I don't want to talk to him about those things because I want him to recover fully. But you can see that his heart, his heart is really um, serve the Lord, to serve the Lord, to, to do what he's called for. Bless, bless him. And um, thank you once again. Anybody else? Pahabol? No? All right. So if there's nobody else who would like to share their praise report throughout the week, I'd like to ask you to please prepare your hearts, your mind, and your soul as we hear this, this um, word of God. The speaker that we're going to have today, I am so, I'm so glad that he's, he's actually finally um, said yes. I know he's got busy schedule, but his humble heart and his obedience to, to continue to glorify God when pastor asked him to do this. Can you do that? Yes, pastor. Yes, Lord. Yes, amen. That's all he, like that song, yes and amen. And I really appreciate that. And I know that God um, sees that and that work and that heart will not go in vain. I'd like to call on the, the presence of Brother June Villapando. Can you please come up? Thank you, Sister Joy. Uh, wow. Yeah, it's been long that, uh, that I never stand on the pulpit sharing with, with the Lord. It is my first time to share. Amen. But, you know, brothers and sisters, truly, uh, I can't uh, say uh, no to God. I, can, I cannot say no to God. Even uh, I, I, I don't know what to say, but uh, I believe that the Lord is the one who give us strength, give us knowledge and wisdom. Amen. And uh, to tell my story short, uh, I know when our pastors are going for uh, his uh, surgery and transplant, I know that there's nobody has uh, stepped out for for the preaching, but I believe Sister Ira is here, Brother Adrian is here, Sister Joy is here, and some of our uh, 
young adults step up, Brother Clinton. Amen. And now, being a part of the leader, who am I for for not challenge myself? Amen. To not saying or no to the Lord. Amen. That's the, that's the thing. And for me, and when I was uh, say and Sister Joy uh, 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 arranged the schedule and then uh, everyone was say yes or say no, right? But when I see the schedule, I tell to Sister Joy, can you give me a little bit uh, time to prepare, amen, to, to study. But during that time, because I said to myself, I need uh, at least two weeks to prepare, amen. But during my study, by, um, by all myself, I can't do anything. I can't, no, no words, no words from the Lord that came onto my mind, amen. There's no words that came to my mind that I can share to you with, to you today, guys. But the Lord intervened. The Lord gave me some people to for help. Amen. Everybody's needing help sometimes, but if if your hearts are there to us, they are willing to help. Amen. Especially our brothers, our pastors, they're they're still there for us for help. Amen. That's why <clears throat> When I came to this uh, ma message, I asked the pastor, Pastor, what should I speak? Why should I why teach? Can you give me some points? Can you give me some help? And automatic, the, 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 the reply of pastor is, was there. So to God be the glory, even he is on, on that uh, moment, he replied. He gave me some points to study. Amen. That's why we, we have some message for today. And glory to God for this opportunity that he gave it to me. The courage, the, uh, the, uh, the pill nervous, but I submit it to the Lord. Amen. Let's pray. Hallelujah. Oh, Heavenly Father, once again, we thank you for this opportunity that you give to me, especially, Lord, for this moment, Lord, uh, to share your word, Lord. Uh, I know I lack of wisdom, I lack of knowledge, but I believe that you are here. Your spirit will teach us today, amen. And your spirit will be continuous to, to manifest to every heart of my brothers, my sisters who are here, even myself, oh Lord. And for those who are watching for this uh, live broadcast, Lord, may you continue to touch them hearts too, Lord, as you touch our hearts today. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Truly, uh, our, uh, our uh, what do you call, appearance, or uh, whatever we, we see to the person, whatever we're looking at the person, it reflects each every one of us. Amen. I, uh, I challenge everyone. Smile, show your teeth. Smile, everyone. Show, show it to your, to your, to your, uh, to your uh, katabe, uh, beside the person beside you, or the person back at you. Amen. It means nakakahawa yan eh. Amen. Nakaka, nakakadala. Amen. Nakaka, nakaka encourage. Amen. Yep, it is nakaka encourage. Even the simple smile can encourage every one of us. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So, my topics for today is, uh, is about uh, five commitment of highly fruitful Christian. Amen. A five commitment of a highly fruitful Christian. Amen. So, as we go on, can we, hold on, can you turn on your Bible on the Proverbs 6, 10, 3, 5, and Colossians, Colossians 3, 24, 23 to 24. These are our texts for today. 
Amen. I will read it to you. So you can go on. Sorry, guys. Spill nervous talaga. <laughs> this is my first time, but uh, Lord, take charge. Amen. Amen. So, in Proverbs 16, 3, 5, verse 3, says, Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and He will establish your plans. Verse 4, The Lord works out everything to His proper end. Even the wicked for the day disaster. Verse 5, the Lord detests all the proud heart. Be sure of this. They will not go unpunished. Amen? Wow. So we go to Colossians, Colossians, hold on guys, it's my points here, when we go to Colossians, uh, Colossians 3, 5, in Colossians 3, 23 to 25, says here, Sorry, Lord, no wala points ko, pero take charge. Oh, yeah. So it's on the screen. In Colossians 3, 23 to 24. Whatever you do, work it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human matters. Verse 24. Since you know that you will receive an an inheritance from the Lord, as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. Amen? We are not here to serve the people. We are here to serve the Lord. Amen? That's what we are wants to commit. Amen? All, all, all our effort, all our time, when we submit it to the Lord heartedly, the Lord teach us very well. The Lord deal with us. Amen. He is the one who knows what is on our heart, what is on our mind, what is on our soul. Amen. We cannot hide anything about to the Lord. Amen. That's why it's very important to us to, to work with the Lord. Work it with the Lord. Submit it to the Lord. Amen. Commit it to the Lord. Amen. That's why our time for today it's about five commitment of five highly fruitful commitment of a Christian. Amen. Do you guys want to be fruitful? I want to. Yes, everyone want to need to be fruitful. Even sometimes we are being so long being Christians, so many years. But where is our fruit? To be a Christian. Amen. Even myself. Lord. Where's my where's the fruit that 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 you want me to what what is where's the fruit that I have? I've been so long to be your your servant. Amen. That's why our topics for today is very very powerful, especially in my heart. Amen. That his word is truth. His word is challenging. His word is alive. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory and, and honor to the Lord. For this text that's very, uh, very powerful. Amen. To each every one of us. So,
let's go on. And <clears throat> before I go to the to this in, in, uh, in introduction, truly this is the word of God. Amen. Believe that this is the word of God for us today. Hallelujah. Our introduction is, my introduction is this. This message has been five things to remember, my dear brothers and sisters. Remind us about the highly and fruitful Christian. First and foremost, what is spiritual commitment? Amen. What do you think? What is the spiritual commitment? One of the key pillars of the spiritual health of any congregation is the level of spiritual commitment among each members. Amen? Among each members. Spiritual commitment reflect a personal deep of faith and manifested in both attitude and behavior. That's what I said to you guys. Our behavior reflects what we have, what we are. Amen. Sometimes we cannot hide, right? Sometimes if you're really blessed by the Lord, you can see the aura of our brothers. Wow, so blessed. Even he, don't, he don't say it, see, say it, but we can see it in his aura. Amen. That's why our behavior affect what we are. Our attitude affect and our behavior too. Amen. It's not our attitude supposed to be our behavior. Amen. Both supposed to will be changed. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory, glory to God. Amen. That is our spiritual commitment to reflect us as a person. As a personal deep of faith. Amen. Supposed to. That's my introduction for you today, guys. That's, uh, that's the essence of our spiritual commitment to the Lord. Supposed to. If we can smile, it can, it can um, uh, repress the, the people beside you. If we are sad, it repress the people beside you, us too. Amen. Amen. Amen for that. Amen. That's why we need to be to be changed, changed in our attitude and changed in our uh, uh, spiritual uh, by by the Lord in, and behavior. Amen. Because sometimes our action won't won't bless uh, someone else. Amen. Sometimes our attitude won't bless uh, someone else. Vice versa. That's why we need to to be alert, to be to be to be uh, what do you, to be uh, led by the Spirit, Amen. Because in our own way, we have a lot of weaknesses, we have a lot of struggle, we have a lot of uh, kahinaan, Amen. But for those kahinaan, for those struggles, the one who who lead us to the light. It's Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. As the song said today, Jesus, Jesus, you make the trembles darkness tremble. You make the darkness tremble. Amen. Because you are the light. He is the light. Amen. Imagine in a dark room, that there is a light, a small light. You can see the small light, amen? Even it is surrounded by the dark, but when there's a light in the dark, in that dark, the only you can see is the light, not the darkness, amen? That is Jesus, that is the Lord, amen? Hallelujah. So, I want to go to work on our, my point number one. For our point number one, it says here, 
wholeheartedly surrendered to the leadership of Jesus Christ. Amen? Wholeheartedly surrender to the leadership of Jesus Christ. Let's take a look at Matthew 16, 24 to 25. Matthew 16, 24 to 25. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wants to be my disciple must be denied themselves and keep up their cross and follow me. For whatever wants to be saved their life will lose it, but whoever lose their life for me will find it. Wow. When the Lord speaks to us, it's most unfavorable. Sometimes, what, what the Lord says about in verse 25, whoever wants to be saved their life will lose it. But whoever loses their life for me, says the Lord, will find it. In our, human, in our human opinion or our human thinking, how's that? We can say, how's that, Lord? How we can say, oh Lord, how, how is that? If we lose our life through your name, we find it? How is that? Wow. But in our own opinion, how, how would? How it does, Lord? But the Lord says, instructed us today in verse 25, whoever wants to save their life to lose it, will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me will find it, says the Lord. Amen? That's why we need to heartedly surrender our life to Jesus. Heartedly. Not just say by word. Open our hearts. Surrender our heart to the Lord. Amen? My dears and brothers, this is a challenge for us today. Surrender your life. Surrender your heart to Lord Jesus. Amen? And He will lead us. And He will teach us. And he will carry us whatever problem that we have right now. Amen? Whew. What a blessing. What the word of God struck us today. Amen? Wholeheartedly surrendered to the leadership of Jesus Christ. It's like for us. Imagine we are, right now we are on the boat. And the boat was had more captain, three or more captain, who wants to be lead to lead this boat where they go, where they want to go. Amen. So there's the struggle was there because there there is a lot of battle with it, so many leaders because we have only one boat, but there's a lot of captain that want want to go there, want to go or go over and left, want to go on the right, and want to go on the straight. Right? That's why we just want to need one leader. And we was that is Jesus Christ. Amen. And that is the Lord. Amen. That is the Lord. Even ourselves, even our pastors, he submit his life to the Lord because he is we are want to undergo with the Lord what what the Lord wants us to do. Amen. Same way with us. As believers, my dear brothers and sisters, we want to submit all things to the Lord. Amen. Commit everything to the Lord. Amen. As we say in the first Korean Proverbs 16, 3, 5. Amen. Second point. Proactive living as a kingdom servant. A proactive living as a kingdom servant. Find in Matthew 25, 31 to 40. What is proactive living? In a, in, we always hear this proactive at work. Sometimes we, we see, oh, be, be proactive. Be proactive. Amen? Sometimes be, be proactive. In our own way, be 
in my own opinion and my own uh, understanding on my proactive in Tagalog it is the uh, it's always say to me in my, my on Tagalog words this means uh, for me it is maging uh, uh, Lord help me for Tagalog uh, it been uh, it been uh, like if you are like a like a small uh, or a company that or you just worker and you are just a worker but think as you are the owner something like that proactive means think that the company is your is your own think the company is your own like that same as at our work love Think that you 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 are the owner of the work, amen. Being proactive, whatever decision or whatever. Sometimes we see that there is no no replacement, no people with us. But being proactive, sometimes two tasks, three tasks, we can do it, amen. For being proactive, hallelujah. Let's read Matthew twenty five thirty one to forty. It says here. When the Son of Man comes into the, in his glory and all angels with him, he will sit on his glorious throne. Verse 32, all the nation will be gathered before him and he will separate the people from another as shepherd separate sheep from the goat. Verse 33, he will put the sheep into his right hand and then to his right, and the goat unto his left. 34. The king will say to those on the right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, take my inheritance. The kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. Verse 35. For I was hungry, and you give me something to eat. I was thirsty. And you give me something to drink. And I was stranger, and you give, you invite me in. Thirty six. And I need clothes, and you clothed me. And I was sick, and you look after me. I was in prison, and you come to visit me. Amen. What being proactive of the kingdom of servants? One, uh, w one um, disciples of the Lord asked to the Lord about this. Lord, when did I see you that you are hungry that I feed you? When did I see you in prison that I visit you? When did I, you are unclothed and I give you food? Clothed food. But the Lord replied to him during that time. He said, The Lord said, Whatever you do on your brothers, you do it to me. And brothers and sisters, you do it to me. Amen. That's why it's very important to us to help one another, to love one another as a believer of Christ. Amen. If someone needs, let's give him what we can amen if someone needs uh, to pray let's pray for them amen if someone need a uh, companion let's keep them companions as, as a brother and sister in Christ hallelujah because Lord is the one who honor what you do in your brothers and sisters amen do it do it brothers and sisters because there is a reward, inherit. There is a reward for whatever what good did that you do in your brothers and sisters. Amen? It's very important to know that. Knowing that your good deeds is not in vain, especially when you work it to the Lord. To the Lord. Amen? Hallelujah. Let's go in point number three. Am I so fast? No, no very good. So, Let's go on to point number three. 
International and Contiguous Witness for Christ. Wow. What is International Contiguous Witness for Christ? Who? No one may say international. There's an international flight where there's inter international words. Amen. There's international. Uh, there is in, there's a lot of in things that we consider as international. Like English. English is just an international language. Amen. And we consider that it's international. It's international language to communicate. Amen. And at we at we at this point, when we say international and continuous with this for Christ, let's read First Corinthians nine, sixteen to twenty seven. Amen. As you see on the slides, in uh, First Corinthians nine six to twenty seven. For when I preach the gospel, I cannot boast, since I am the completed to preach. Who to me if I do not preach the gospel? If I preach voluntarily, I have the reward. If it, if it not, I am not simply discharging the trust committed to me. Wow. Let's be highlight for that. Let's be challenged for, for those words by the word. Amen. In verse 17, if I preach voluntarily, I have a reward. If not voluntarily, I'm simply discharging the trust committed to me. What does that mean? If our heart are voluntarily surrendered to the Lord, says his word we will get the reward amen as a sister joyce said most of the time we were doing not this for not to pastor not for everybody we're doing it for the lord hallelujah amen because he's confident yeah he has a confidence and trust he has the confidence of trust that he got the reward from the lord and we got the reward from the lord if we voluntarily serve it to the Lord. Amen? Amen? Amen, my brothers and sisters? Amen. Let's go on. Let's go on. In, in verse 18, what then is, is, is my reward? Just this, that is the preaching of the gospel, I might open it free, to change and not to make full use of my right as a preacher, preacher of the gospel. Verse 19, thought I am free and belong to no one. I have made myself a slave to everyone. To win as many as possible. Verse 20, the Jews became, the, the Jews I became like a Jews. To win the Jews. To those under the law, I became like under the law. Thought on myself, I'm not under the law. So, as to win those under the law, to those who do not have the law, I became like nothing the law. Thought I'm not free from the law. God's law, but under the Christ law. So, as to win those not have, having the law. Amen. To the weak I become weak, to win the weak over belongs all things. To all the people so that they be possible means of mighty save some. Verse 23, I do all things for the sake of the gospel that I may share it to the blessing. Verse 24, do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? The run sets away 
us to get the prize, the runner. Amen? Meaning, when Paul wrote this and tell it to the Corinthians, his challenge, he he will he say to them to to them when if we want to uh, to uh, encourage especially our ourselves our brother our sisters in Christ who was in struggle how can we how we encourage them how we can lift up them right if we don't know what he is struggling to. That's why sometimes it's better to, sometimes we need to understand what he's, he's going to. Amen? Sometimes we need to, sometimes we need to, uh, to encounter those two. Amen? So we can share what we do, what we did, what the Lord did to our life. Amen? Because only those things, only those things, like a runner, uh, all runners, all sportsmen, all the uh, the uh, like athletes are uh, preparing for for their uh, for what game that we have that they want to right. They practice, they do training prior for that competition that they want to. Even the runners, right? Even the boxers. But be in our mind that those run, whatever run or whatever struggle that we are facing through, remember this, my dear brothers and sisters. Let our light shine. Let our, let our life be shine. Light our 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 way will shine. Let encourage all the people around us. Let encourage our friend. Let let encourage our our brother. Let our son, our wife. Amen. Because the the Lord that we do what that we happen to is internationally international and not only for for our brother, our friend. It is. It must be international because it is Christ. It is for everyone. Christ is for all, not for only for these people, for you, for me. Christ is for all. So we need to share Christ to everyone. Amen? As the believers of Christ. Hallelujah. That's why that is my point number three. We need to be international, contagious witness for Christ. We need to finish the race. Amen. No matter what race that we are facing through. Believe my dear brothers and sisters. Like Stephen Carey said in his, in his shoes. He's always uh, declared that. Amen. Who knows Stephen Carey? Most of you guys know him. Right? Because he's a famous uh, basketball player. Right? But he has a word. He has a word that he has always struck in his heart. He said to his heart, by the word of God, in all things he can do it through Christ. Amen? Hallelujah. What a word of encouragement is that? Do you, do you guys want those encouragement too? I want to. Right? I want to. I want to experience that the Lord entered me in my life too. Right? But how can we do that? How can we do that if we don't practice it? If we don't challenge ourselves? If we don't commit ourselves to the Lord? Amen? Let's go on my point number four. Then spending time with God in the word of prayer. Whew. Parang tinamaan ako dito. Amen. Brother June, uh, yes. 
For in our family, my wife is the prayerful one. We pray before we, we go to bed. When we wake, wake, when he wake up in the bed, he is always afraid. For me, myself, I admit it to myself. I just pray. Yes, yes, I, I'm afraid. Yes, I do pray. But is my prayer is enough? Like my wife did. Wow. Sometimes it's encouraged. Encouragement to me. It's the word instruct to me too, right today. Hallelujah. And even one who has heard this word. If our prayerful is less, let's be encouraged for those people who pray for us. Like for me. Before I stand this fourth feet, you know that? I just realized to this week that it has been happened because of our pastor pray for me. I stand here be in front of you because of our pastor's prayer. Because in my own my own understanding, brothers and sisters, I cannot make it. I cannot do it. But through the prayer of our dear pastor he said to me i pray you for i pray for for you brother for so long wow wow he said to me i pray for that brother for so long who and lord thank you you made it today hallelujah who that's why we need to have a daily spending time with, the, with God in the words of prayer. Let's read Joshua 1, 7, 9. Amen. Caesars, be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses give you. Do not turn from it, it to the right. Or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. Verse 8. Keep this book of the law always on the lips, on your lips. Meditate it on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do anything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Whew. Amen. That is the word of God. We always hear this. But today, as my brothers, we, we talk, uh, I, want, I want you to recognize my, my dear brother, Ronnie, over there. I just, I just amazed with his life. When we talk about the goodness of the Lord, what the Lord did in his life, amen, and the revelation of the word, even if, if the word is... Uh, we hear it every time to time. Amen. We always hear it sometimes, so ten times, four times, seven times, hundred times. But we believe there's a different revelation every day of that word that God instructed us. Do you believe that? Hallelujah. Do you, do you believe that every day there's a different instruction of the Lord who wants us to deal with? Those words, amen. Even we we hear it so many times. Even we 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 experience it so many times. But the Lord instructions when we are in His presence, He deal it differently. He teaches us differently. He reveal us differently. Even that word, amen. Hallelujah. That's why the the Lord of the word of the Lord is new every morning. There's a song he's, he's, there's a new every morning. Amen. It's new every morning and morning and morning. Amen. And when we talk about how the blessing of the Lord goes to, to the believers of Christ and he has said to me yes brother the blessings of the Lord is enough for the day. Enough for this day. 
not for tomorrow, not for the other day, but it is enough for this day. Not for the whole year. Let's be thankful for this day, not just for tomorrow, because we never know what happened goes tomorrow. Amen. Whew. Glory to God. Because of those instructions, those uh, manifestations of the Holy Spirit to your brother, to your sister, that he challenged us to share with us this word. Sometimes, oh Lord, forgive us. Forgive me, Lord. I don't know that. Right? But when we continue to study his word, the Lord teach us. When we continue to pray it daily, the Lord reveal us differently. The Lord answer our prayer. Do you believe that, my dear and brother and sister? Who pray for our pastor? Amen. Most of everyone here pray for our pastors. And be thankful now to the Lord because he answer our prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's been so miracle. Oh, Lord, thank you. If we if we all in see the life of our pastor, the life of his uh, uh, continuous run over or uh, uh, continuous uh, walk with the Lord, you will be blessed. For sure we will, we will bless. Don't don't think what he's he's saying sometimes, but Think what he, he is truly blessed. Think about his life. How the Lord blessed him. How the Lord loved him. Amen. That's why we encourage, we continue to trust in him. Because we have a proof that the Lord that we serve is alive. Amen. He is alive. Hallelujah. That's why we need our we need to spend our daily time with prayers. As Joshua said, Amen. Let's talk about John. John. Let's look about John 15 7. I don't want to miss this. John 15 7 to 8. Amen. If you remain in me and my words remain on you, ask whatever you wish, and it will done for you. This is the Father's glory, that you bear much fruit, showing yourself to be my disciples. Whew. Who is the disciples of the Lord? As ourselves. If we believe that we are the servants of the Lord, we consider us as disciples of the Lord. We consider us as followers of Christ. Amen? We need to consider ourselves as followers of Christ because we are believers. Amen? Consider yourself as a follower of Christ. That's why we need to, to have daily spending time with Him in prayer. Not only for our wants, not only for the wants of everybody, of our family, Let's pray for the, the ones also of our brother, our sister in Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Did you pray for our pastor? Did you pray for Sister Ar Did you pray for Brother Adrian? Did you pray for Ad Brother Abner, Sister Archie, si Sister Audrey? Wow. Sometimes we, we don't, right? That's why have we guilt in our heart. Oh, Lord, forgive us. Let's all right to consider our prayer. Even our sister who are not attending right now in our church. Did you pray for them? Did we pray for them? Amen. Did we pray for them that the Lord bring back them again here? Did we? Lord, forgive me. I'm not. But today, for your instruction, let me, your power will be considered. Let be your word be considered on my lips that I will continue to pray for them. Amen? Because it's very important to each and every one of us to pray one another. Amen? Let's look 
Look about Ephesians 6, 17 and 18. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the spirit in all occasions with all kinds of prayer and requests. With this mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. See? The instructions of the Lord for us. Keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Amen. For all the brothers and sisters. Amen. Let's keep praying for them. Not only for ourselves. Not only for our family. Not only for friends. Not only for our pastors. Let's pray one another. Amen. And love one another in unity. Amen. Because when you, you, when you love, the love of unity will be there. Amen. And let's go for my last point. Point number five. A generous financial stewardship in most of the time. Let's read Second Corinthians 9, 14 and 15. So. Second Corinthians 9, 14 and 15. And their prayers for you, their hearts will go out to you because of the surpassing grace of God has given you. Verse 15, Thanks be to God for his de describable, indescribable gift. Amen. Again, verse 14, And their prayers for you, their hearts will go out for you because of the surpassing grace of God given you. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. Hallelujah. Do you believe that our finances is owned by God? Amen. We just only a steward of it. Amen. So being a being a truly steward of the of this finance. The secret for those who are blessed by the Lord financially, my dear brothers and sisters, and I know some of these, most of uh, some people, most of the people here are blessed. Their secret is they commit it to the Lord. They submit it to the Lord. Amen. They give it to the Lord. Hallelujah. If you want to bless financially, Give it to the Lord. Submit it to the Lord. What is for the Lord? Amen. It's not my word. Sometimes we can't do right for the Lord financially, but teach us. Teach our heart, Lord. Honor you with this act, with this, with this word, oh Lord. If, because we want to be truthful. Not only in finance, not only on our heart, not only on international, not only in our prayer. Lord wants us to experience all these things, blessings. Amen. Lord, He wants us to experience those blessings within from Him. Hallelujah. Whew, Lord, truly your blessing is abundance if we believe, if we really truly trust and commit it to you. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, thank you, Lord. Before I go to the conclusion of this message, let's do a recap for these uh, five things to remember for us. Amen. 
Yes. In point number one, we need wholeheartedly surrender to the leadership of Jesus Christ. Amen. Wholeheartedly surrender. Let's meditate that word. When you wholeheartedly surrender your life or heart to the Lord, Lord, take in control of my life. If you surrender it to the Lord, Lord will deal. What hindrance, what, what uh, karumihan sa ating puso, amen? We will re re remove it, amen? He will remove it. If we truly surrender heartedly to the leadership of Christ, we want to be proactive. You want to be proactive living as a kingdom servant. Do you want that, guys? We want to. If we need to be proactive, yes, not only in work, but we are the servants of God. Each and every one is a servant of God. We need to be proactive. What we need to be helped, what we need to do, what we need to be encouraged, each and every one. Amen? To this ministry to go on. Hallelujah. To this ministry to go, 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 go. Hallelujah. Point number three is international and contagious, contagious witness for Christ. Be our life be witness for Christ. Let our life be witness to each everyone, the people around us. Not only we are not 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 just only when we are on Sunday, not just only when we are our own house, not just only what whatever we do, let's life will be shine to those people around us. Let's be encouraged. Amen. Point number four. Adele is spending time with God in the word of prayer. Yes, most of us are lack of this. But I believe, my dear and brothers and sisters, it is not it is not uh, like it is not uh, short for today, but we need to do it. Start with it. Stay, start praying. It's like it's like when we, we when we do things, if we can do it repeatedly, repeatedly un until we master it. Amen. Same thing on prayer. If we continue move and move, we can pray, pray. If we can pray two minutes, then up God will get be five minutes, ten minutes, thirty minutes, an hour prayer. Even some some people did twenty four hours prayer. Amen. Some people are some people of our wow, how can they, they do that? Dealing with the Lord with the twenty four hours? Whew. Do you guys need to experience those? Do you want to guys experience those? I want to. Right? That's why we need, if we are locked on prayers, let's start now. Amen? Let's start now, my dear brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. And point number five. A generous stewardship, a generous financial stewardship in most of the time. It is encouraged us in the parable of the sower. Amen. Let's be honest, even a single sense that we have. And trust me, my dear and brothers and sisters, the Lord will be honor. The Lord will be honor on those small amount. Amen. If we are honest, if we are willing to surrender and commit our life to him. Hallelujah. Let's go in my conclusion. Christ is certainly committed. Amen. Commitment is about your decision. Commitment is a choice to be fruitful. Commitment means not to giving up even when it's hard. 
and impossible in our human opinion. Amen? Yes. Sometimes, that's a lot. Lord, it's too much struggle, too much worry. Sometimes we are, we are overloaded. But the Lord is truth in His Word. He never leave us nor forsake us, my dear brothers and sisters. Whatever problems we are facing now, trust in the Lord. Amen. Commit it to the Lord. Submit it to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Remember my, my, my sister Joy Priest last three weeks ago about how we pray. It's acts, right? It's like adoration. Like when you say acts, com- commit communion with Christ. Thanksgiving to Him and surren- supplication means surrender your life to the Lord. And Sister Ira preached us last week, uh, two weeks ago, that about the faith in Hebrews 11. Amen. Sometimes we cannot see all things, but if we have faith, even we don't see those things, if we have faith in our heart, it will happen. Amen. Brother Colin, uh, Brother Clinton, share us about. Fear not. Amen. He shared about last Sunday about fear not. Says the Lord, fear not, for I am with you. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. And today, if you want to be, if you want to be equipped, if you want to be highly fruitful Christian, let's meditate this word. Let's impart this word of the Lord to today. Commit to Him, submit to Him, whatever we do, and we He will establish our plan, my dear and brothers and sisters. He will establish our plan, whatever plan that we have. If we submit to Him, if we honor Him in our in our daily life, He will guide us. He will lift us when we down. He will encourage us. He will bless us. Amen. That is our Lord that we serve. Truly, our cry, Christ is enough for us. If we truly believe that in our heart, surrender our heart to Him, heartedly surrender our heart to Him, commit everything to Him, I believe, my dear and brothers and sisters, we can walk straight through His glory. Amen. To the one that He wants us to lead. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Truly, there is no impossible to you, O Lord. As we sing, Christ is enough for us. Christ, you, Jesus, you change every every single life, teach everyone. Since we know you, Lord, you never change. Once again, thank you, Lord, for this message. And we give you all the highest glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. Today is, a, today is our communion, but again, this is my first time to, to, to do the honor, to serve the communion for you, to each every one of us. Can I call uh, our ushers today for help to serve the communion? Please. Thank you, Brother Adrian. Let's pray first. Hallelujah.
sometimes our points are not been here but the uh, glory of God is been here amen hallelujah glory be with us so let's pray this is second Corinthians first Corinthians Lord, thank you once again for remembering you, what you have done to ten years ago. Submit your life for us to save our sins, O oh Lord. Today, we remember that you have done to us, O oh Lord. Through this uh, communion, Lord, remembering what you did in our life, O oh Lord. In our, when we met you, Lord, truly you are the one who, uh, who trusts, who, who uh, control our life, who bless us, oh Lord. Lord, today is a, is a communion day. Bless this uh, bread as a symbol of your of the body, and cup as a symbol of your blood, oh Lord. And may. Uh, our hearts access this freely and uh, honestly and without any hindrances in our heart. Forgive us our sins, O oh Lord, as we commit, as we take this holy communion. O oh Lord, make us holy, make us, uh, make us uh, accept this uh, holy communion today hallelujah let's save the communion brother thank you First Corinthians chapter 11 verse 23 For I received from the Lord what I also pass unto you The Lord's on on the night he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and said this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Let's take the bread. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this, whatever you drink it, in remembrance of me. Let's take that. Thank 
you, Lord. For whatever you eat, the bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let's pray for the closing remarks. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord. Jesus, once again, we thank you for this time that being together to this uh, sanctuary. Thank you for your uh, word for today, oh, Lord. Yes, Lord. Most of this word are instructed by you, Lord. May this word will be penetrated in our heart, in our mind, in all our bodies, O oh Lord. So we can use it in our daily life, O oh Lord. Lord, truly without you, we can do nothing, Lord. That's why we need your instruction. And the secret for those instructions that we can give is committed it to you heartedly. Commit our ways to you, Lord. Unahin ka namin sa aming mga buhay, Panginoon. Truly is a secret, O oh Lord, of your blessing, of your prosperity to each and every one, O oh Lord. Thanks for your word, O oh Lord. May you continue to bless each and every one of us, O oh Lord. Unite us of one body and one spirit, O oh Lord. Through your name, through your Son, in Jesus' name. Amen and Amen.